from your friends at PBS Kids. We are the Wombats, Malik, Sadie, Zeke, and my stuffy Snout. And you are a Womp Buddy, just over friends. Can you come? Won't you come? Come to our play date. We'll sing and dance and play pretend. Can you come? Won't you come? Come to our play date. Come on, Womp Buddies. Can you come? Won't you come? Come to our play date. Noisy! Sleepover play date. Womp Buddies. Whenever you hear this sound, we're going to ask you to do or say something. Welcome, Wom Buddies. Today, you're invited to our house for a noisy sleepover. The reason it's noisy is because Grandma Super is going to read our favorite bedtime story, which is all about this place where you have to be quiet. But we won't be quiet because Every time Super reads the word noise, and you hear this sound, we're gonna make some noise! Yeah! Yeah! And I'm gonna play my really big, really loud, noisy thing. Isn't it great? It's so loud! If you don't have a noisy thing, you can stomp or clap or cheer or sing. Make any noise you want, as long as it's loud! Right, Grandma Super? That's right, Malik. So when I blow my kazoo, <laughs> and you hear this sound, you'll stop making noise. When I read the word noise, and you hear this, you make some noise! When I do this, <laughs> And you hear this, you stop. Got it? Got it. We are ready to start our sleepover. Okay, then. Settle down, Wombuddies, Buddies, and get yourselves cozy with your blankets or pillows or stuffies or whatever you have. I'll give you a second to get everything you need. Where did I put that book? <laughs> Found it. <laughs> I'm ready to read the story. Once upon a time in the land of Inky Binky. Ooh, Grandma Super, you should tell the Wand Buddies what Inky Binky is. Good idea, Zeke. Inky Binky is a make-believe place where strange things grow on trees. Things like pots and pans. And flutes. And drums. What about trumpets? Do trumpets grow on the trees? In Inky Binky they do. Also pianos. In the land of Inky Binky, everyone had to be very quiet. That was the rule. You had to tiptoe. You had to whisper. I would not like that. No thanks. Zeke, can you please stop interrupting and let Grandma Super read the story? Okay, but Snout wouldn't like it either. <laughs> Every once in a while, the Inky Binks, who lived in this curious place, would get all jiggly and wiggly. They would take the instruments off the trees because they had the sudden, overwhelming urge to make some noise! Time to make noise, Womp Buddies! Stop or clap or play a noisy thing! Noise, noise, noisy noise! <laughs> Did you remember, Womp Buddies? When we hear the kazoo <laughs> and this sound, we stop making noise. Back to the story we go. After the Inky Binks were done making noise! Noise, noise, noisy noise! The trees would be bare for a very long time, but slowly the instruments would start to grow back. Gulintangs and rattles 
and castanets would bloom. And the Inky Binks would wait for the day when they could make some noise! Noise, noise, noisy noise! Wasn't Super's kazoo. What is the meaning of this commotion? It's six minutes past bedtime. Is that you, Mystery? Don't be a stranger. Come on in. It is Mystery from the Everything Emporium. Say hi to the Wom Buddies, Mr. E. The Wom who? The Wom Buddies are our friends. Well, uh, hello. Uh, hi. We're having a sleepover. A noisy sleepover by the sound of it. Exactly. We're sorry if we woke you up, Mr. E. We didn't know you could hear us down at the bottom of the tree. Oh, loud and clear. <laughs> us and the Wom Buddies are playing a game. Super is reading a bedtime story. And every time she reads the word noise, it causes us to make noise. Do you want to play? No, thank you. I am not a fan of rumpuses. Although I am a fan of super stories. I guess we can't be noisy anymore, Wom Buddies. We don't want to bother Mr. E. New rule. Whenever super reads the word noise, we'll whisper like this. Noise, noise, noisy noise. Sounds like a plan, kiddos. Get yourself all comfy, Mr. E, and listen up. Oh, oh well, I'll just, oh, that's nice. Oh, I'll just borrow this blanket here and a pillow. Oh, this is cozy. The Inky Binks were so loud that a few clouds fell down from the sky. The clouds made everything quiet, even the... Noise. Remember, Wom Buddies, now you have to whisper when you hear the word noise. Oh, I mean, I don't want to be a total potty pooper. You can make a, a little bit of noise. Like this little? Noise, noise, noisy noise? Well, you could be louder than that. I guess medium loud would be all right. Did you hear that, Wom Buddies? We can be medium loud now. Like this. Yeah, all right. La, la, la. We will, we will. Noise. Oh, fiddlesticks. Medium noise is too silly. Go ahead and be as loud as you want. <laughs> Are you sure, Mystery? Sure, sure? I'm sure. Although I will say that grown-ups like myself are never noisy. <clears throat> That's no fun, Mr. E. Sometimes even grown-ups need to make noise. Here, Mr. E, try my noisy thing. It's super fun. Really? Hmm, I, I don't know how to play it. Uh, do I do it like this? <laughs> Woo! Yeah! <laughs> All right! This is surprisingly fun! <laughs> That's it, Mr. E. Go, 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 Mr. E! Yeah. <laughs> you too, Wom Buddy! Yeah. Make some noise! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> well, that was a barrel of laughs. Though now it really is time for the sleep part of the sleepover. You all look tuckered out. <laughs> Snout's tired. Me, not so much. Maybe I'll get sleepy if we sing the Treeberhood lullaby? Good idea, Zeke. Sing with us, Fun Buddies, okay? Just to Mars. <laughs> Is Mr. E snoring? Yep. <laughs> he might not 
can't be noisy during the day, but it sure is noisy at night. <laughs> we don't want to wake him. Bye for now, Wom Buddies. We'll see you at our next play date. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening, Womp Buddies. If you like the Work It Out Wombats podcast, ask your grown-up to subscribe so you don't miss any new episodes. You can listen to all our podcasts, watch videos, and play games for free at pbskids.org. The Work It Out Wombats podcast is produced for PBS Kids by GBH Kids and Cultural Whispers and distributed by PBS Kids and PRX. Work It Out Wombats is made possible in part by... A ready-to-learn grant from the U.S. Department of Education, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people, the National Science Foundation, United Engineering Foundation, Siegel Family Endowment, the Arthur Vining Davis Foundations, and GBH Kids Catalyst Fund.